Howdy y'all, my name is Price and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher Part 2. <laughs> How's it going y'all? Today it is October the 17th. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, I actually just this morning, it's later in the day, it is almost 2 p.m. Um, I recorded my Slime Rancher for Beginners video that I've been talking about for a little while. Um, I figured now that we found the final treasure pod, I can confidently talk about pretty much everything in the game. Um, and so, yeah, I, uh, I started making that video. Um, it might be a couple days before it comes out, because um, I want to put a lot of good editing into it and everything like that. But once it does, I would really appreciate it if y'all would share that one all over the place. I feel like this is the only time I've really asked y'all to share. But um, I really, really um, want to put a lot of work and effort into that one. And I would really love it for a lot of people to see it. Because I know a lot of people want to learn how to play Slime Rancher. There are a few other videos on Slime Rancher for Beginners right now. Um, but I want to be the number one. <laughs> or more importantly, I just want to make sure that I get the most people the kind of... Um, assistance in playing the game uh, as I can because um, I think that I am a really good teacher considering I did it for um, five years um, so that's all that's my little plug there uh, do check it out when it comes out give me comments on what else I should do so I can do another episode on it and um, and yeah so anyway that's that what else are we going to talk about today well i think what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of scout spots for where we want to put gordos okay i'm going to go places we're going to kind of look around and be like okay where how can we arrange characters what can we put here um to kind of build um the the world you know the kind of uh storybook world that i want to create in here you know slime rancher to me is so much more than just playing a game um so um that's what i'll be doing today in terms of our goals i also might start working on decorating the conservatory like i said you know we got a little bit of everything going on here um and obviously everything is always um changeable malleable we can um always change up who the gordos are where the gordos are and what's going on um so so yeah uh, right now i'm heading back home we're gonna do a little looking around and we're going to um see what boing <laughs> upgrades um we can buy in terms of um not upgrades but uh, decorations check on our slimes are one of each slime um speaking of which i put out the first um community post about naming the largos so if you are watching the series you know i've talked about we're gonna name these individual largos we've had them since the beginning of this file which is like 24 25 episodes at this point and so we're gonna cycle them out we're gonna get some new ones we're gonna try and see some combinations that maybe we haven't seen before or at the very least change up what we got going on here so um, yeah, go check out that post. It shows off each one of these and then it basically just tells you leave a comment on a name that you think would be really good for them. I will go through those and pick um, basically as many as I can that YouTube will allow um, for a poll. Um, and then uh, I'll have y'all vote on it. So you'll get final say. I'll kind of break down my favorites, right? That's my say. And then from those six or seven or however many YouTube lets me put on a poll, um, y'all will pick from, right? Because again, I said it before, I'll say it again. This is collaborative, all right? We're working on this story and world together. Um, so yeah. Help me out with that. Let me know your ideas down below and go to that community post. Do those. Uh, uh, let me know your ideas. I'm going to wait. Not It won't be the next day, but the following day. So not the day this video goes out, but tomorrow. Um, so that people have enough time to put in their suggestions. And then what I'll do is I'll do them one at a time, right? So we'll do like the honey angler one day, and then we'll do the, the pink bunny another day, etc. cetera. Um, Cause I think that'll be the easiest way for us to come up with them. And then on those episodes, you know, I can, you know, talk about, okay, here's what we named these guys. Um, and I think that'll be fun. I think that'll be a fun way of doing it. 
Uh, beyond that, oh, give me your suggestions for the new Largos that we're going to get. I want to swap these guys out, so I'm curious to know if there's any combinations that y'all really, really, really want to see. You know, at this point, we know how to make a ton of hens and we have a bunch in storage. We could do a carnivore. You know, we could do a full carnivore. Could be interesting. Um, anything, really. Oh, look, we have a message. Let's go read the message. And I'm pretty sure all of our other slimes are going to be just fine. Uh, okay. Oh, it's Ogden. All right. Do you have something for us? Okay. We've done this before. My voice is a little sore today. <laughs> Y'all know what Ogden sounds like. He sounds like this. All right. That's too much. Um, <clears throat> I can do Bob, though. That's right. Oh, what, which slime is that? Is that a, a tabby? Is that a tabby chewing on his scarf? Oh, goodness, Bob. Present time. <laughs> oh, that's great. Bob is the best. Oh, I wish I could contact you, Bob. Oh, there goes the alarm. It's two o'clock. Take a second to think about how you're feeling emotionally. Um, okay, so let's go quickly down to our refinery. Let's build a couple of things. Um, and heck, maybe I'll uh, get some uh, Gordo snares as well if we can afford them. Oh, we got a lot of stuff on here. Well, maybe we'll eventually build the slime stage, put a dug on there or something. Um, okay. Got all these guys. I don't think I really need to build these at the moment. I want to build the, the important stuff first. So, Gordo Snares. Um, we can make two more. So we'll do that. I think that's why I was going out in the first place. Jellystone and Primordial Oil. So after that, can we make a slime stage? Ah, I need more Buzzwax. Um, and then how about these different teleporters? Pink one. Need Jellystone. Need Buzzwax. Okay. Oh, what about blue one? Oh, I already have that one out. The blue one's the one that I already have. Okay. Well, hello, Sea Hen. How you doing? Oh, let's get you down. You're stuck, huh? Now, there you go. All right. Heading back out this way. So, we're going to scout some locations. See where feels good to put some slimes or some Gordos. I have a couple of ideas already. Um, so, we are going to give that a shot. Um, let's head out. I think the first place... We will check, hmm, like this zone could be interesting. Up by here could be good. All these areas where the slimes kind of congregate a lot are tricky for these zones. Up here could be good, um, somewhere out here. But I think the place I want to check first is here because I think it's a really neat spot. And I think if there are tech spots there where we can put Gordos, that'd be a cool one. Maybe over on the smaller one. You know, I like these little kind of... Um, not oases, but these just kind of like little secluded areas that have waterfalls or whatever, or pools that kind of, um, you know, they're almost like a vacation home kind of thing. Uh, so we are going to head to, where's the easier way to get there? Probably, well, we can come from here or come from there. This I think is slightly easier. So where are you? Wow. Well, like I said before, wouldn't it be neat if we put the um, jump pad, like, right past this? Uh, okay. All right, y'all. And I'm so excited that we have completed everything and gotten the final um, treasure pod. Like, that really was a sort of thing that I, just, I wanted to do it so badly. And it's because in the first Slime Rancher, I didn't. You know, and you can't unring that bell. Once you know where they all are, it's not like you're going to forget, or at least you're not going to... You won't forget the hardest ones. We'll put it that way. The other ones you'll stumble across, but you won't forget the ones that you had to hunt for, um, or the ones that you kind of go, oh, that spot, right? The kind of effort that you put into it, you're going to, um, you know... Uh, you're, you're going to remember it, right? So, you know, it kind of takes that experience away from you. And like I said before, not a problem with that. Just for me, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I could do it, get that experience. And as y'all saw, I had a blast doing it. Oh, man, that was so much fun. I'm so glad I did it. Um, so, yeah, let's get up here. Wait a second. Y'all said I can pull water from here, which is great. I uh, hadn't paid attention to that, apparently. And here we go. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, so let's look at what we're seeing over here for tech spots. Part of me thinks there weren't that many when we came up here. As in none. 
Wow, none. Zero. Nada. Wow, okay. Nothing even up here. Just looking down again. Okay, well this cannot then be a spot for Gordos. Glad we checked it off the list. I don't want to be um, assuming I'm gonna when I'm not gonna. Where'd that buzzwax go? Come to me! Okay. Let's keep it going. So, this spot is a no. Um, let's go look around here. Let's see if there's some neat places. Maybe down in the cave. Pretty much everywhere that I want to put the Gordos, we will be putting down a bunch of, um... We'll probably put down some tar, uh, so some water cannons, you know? Okay, we got two spots here in front of the waterfall. This could be a good spot. This could be a good spot. Who would we put over here next to the waterfall? Um... Well, think about that. This is a good... I think this is a good one. Let's put this on the list, all right, y'all? Um, we'll call it Crystal Cave Waterfall, okay? Crystal Cave Waterfall. Why? This is where the crystal was. That's a cave. And that's a waterfall. Um, okay. It'll be harder for me to forget that. Okay, you know what? I need y'all to stop. Pew, pew. The Dominator has spoken. All right. Any spots here? No, there are some in here. Okay, so that's where I could put the um, water cannon if I wanted to. What are they called again? The actual name? It's not water cannon. The... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, can I not look at what it's called? Well, that guy. <laughs> um, okay. Any other, other ones over here? Okay. Okay, okay, I'm getting ideas. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's fly up. This one never seems to be easy to get up here. What else we got up here? Any other spots up here? Okay, we got one up here. That's actually like exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, hear me out. In whatever world we're building, this can be like a secret, or not even a secret, just like the base, right? This is the home of a faction maybe of Gordos. And so like down below, um, they'll have, you know, somebody, you know, and we can think of them as like the tech person or whatever the text line. Um, up here, we can have kind of the leaders who stand in front of the waterfall. And then like, oh, I just realized I, my, my, uh, I don't have my mouse cursor turned on. I realized that when I was, um, uh, when I recorded a different video, so I'll go to those actual spots to show you. I just realized because I was like, I, that's right, they can't see that. Okay, so like here could be lookout points or something like that because there's the gateway. So these could be like guards maybe. Up here can be like lookouts or just individuals who like to be kind of away, you know, um, the sort of broody characters maybe. Uh, down there was where I was thinking for the leaders, right? This is kind of the council area, uh, you know, of anything, if anything. Um, and then let's see, are there some over here? Yeah, and that can be the other guard spot, basically, right? And these don't all have to be different Gordos. They could all be the same Gordos. They could literally all be crystal Gordos. Or we could have a mixture of, like, crystal and rock Gordos, or any other kinds of Gordos, okay? So, um, so, um, Crystal Cave Waterfall. Crystal Cave Waterfall, to me, seems like a good spot. But obviously, I want to hear y'all's input on that and kind of what you want to see there. I feel like that's a fun idea. I think that'll be cool. Give me a second. I'm going to take a sip of my beverage. Okay. It's been a long day. Been a lot of working, but in a good way. Um, that was about to rhyme, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I make little sing-song things, don't I? Like... I don't know. I <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's my weirdness, but I love that like I'll just randomly sing a little little song and somehow I have the capacity, okay? I have the capacity to string together like two verses. <laughs> I can come up with two sets of uh A B rhyming scheme words or yeah, or sentences. Um and that's it. And then I, I fall apart. I fall apart. It's been the same way since, uh, like, even high school and stuff. Back when I was a kid, it was all about, like, uh, when I was in high school, it was all about, like, freestyle rapping. It was, like, a whole thing. And I'll admit, I'll admit, I engaged a little bit. It was the thing to do. And I was actually, not to toot my own horn, but I was one of the better ones at our school. Um, and so I think that that uh, was um, kind of where I learned that skill, I think. 
because I had some friends who also did it. And so we kind of like, you know, you start to learn the ways that each other rhyme and come up with things. Anyway, like I said, there's no, there's no bragging about that. It's uh, at this point kind of embarrassing, but um, you know, it is what it is. I can't run away from my past. I can only uh, embrace my future and use those past experiences to grow and learn from. Oh, get out of here, you slime. And by that, I mean, you leave the slimes alone. Wait, another one? No, he transformed. They're infecting the entire area. Okay. So, what do we got over here? Okay, we've got another, like, valley area over here. This spot up here, it's it's mid for me. It's like a mid zone. It could work, but I'm not, um, not super thrilled on this zone. Um, could still work, though. If y'all have good ideas, heck yeah. Like I said, I want, I want y'all's input. I want this to be something that we do together. I think that'll be so much more fun. And, you know, uh, we'll... We'll all be a part of it, I guess. Um, okay, got a pathway up here. Got another spot down here, you know. Like, all of this could still be a part of the same faction, if we're gonna have factions be that big. But it could also be like, okay, there's not much over there. And then, oh, there's no spots here. I was really hoping there'd be some around that. Um, we've got the one here. So this could be someone who kind of is like, trying to keep an eye on things, but secretly, maybe. They're sort of uh, outside of the faction system, maybe. This person, <laughs> person, Gordo, could be maybe looking off longingly into the distance, have a long lost love that they want to be reunited with, that maybe we could help them, you know, give something, a message or something to their long lost love. Um, okay, whoa, bouncing. Okay, flying up here. All right, a cave setting. Now there's a lot of slimes in here, which means we're gonna have to deal with Tars again. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. So there's that one spot there. This is kind of a chaotic zone, it seems. And I would need a spot, I would want a spot where I could put the water cannon. Um, do, 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 do. Where else? Any over here? Because, like, where the rock slime was, that's a neat spot. And maybe up above, there could be a neat spot. Um, there's, there's stuff around here. Again, I think this cave, other than up there, is going to be kind of middle tier for me um, in terms of stuff. Again, if y'all have cool ideas, we'll go with it. Uh, oh! Get out of your towers! I'm tired of you. Always ruining the party. Okay. So it's down in this one, right? That I go up the first water jet. Yeah. Boing! Mm hmm hmm Boing! Oh, I thought I was gonna go a little faster. Oh well. <laughs> I really try and learn those timings. Like, not deliberately, but it's just like, as you go by, you know? Oh, actually, let's, let's check over here. Is there one up there? Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll fly up just to see. Beat me up! Whee! No. Okay, there's none up in the top zone up here. So that makes our choice for us. Anywhere that there's no tech spots, we can't really do much with. We can still use them as locations, but it's basically places that we pass through, right? Okay. Do, 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 do. And I really like the idea of us kind of doing quests for the Gordos, at least to start off with. I think that could be a fun way of us kind of building a story going forward. Um, like I said, once we get into the narrative, I'm going to stop talking about it as a narrative. Um, because, you know, right now, we're in pre-production, right? That's what I said, pre-production. We're going to be doing this for a little while until we really have a good base, okay? Um, that said, there are still going to be some surprises for y'all. I don't want y'all to know everything that's going to happen. Just, just help me build a world that I can tell you a great story in. Okay, up there, there's two spots. So it could be a place for maybe like an evil lair, a hideout. People remember Umbra from the previous one. Now we can have a ringtail work with Umbra if we want to bring Umbra back, if we're going to have Umbra be a bad one, or we could have different um, other characters be bad. Maybe we, we could bring back other characters. We don't have to bring back other characters. You know, we can make it all new. Um, but something like that, a character set like that, is what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to go over this way now. Do I want to go out that way? Sure, why not? 
Oh yeah, yeah, it's this. This is this is that. Ah! I didn't just turn myself around, did I? I did! Yay! Okay. So let me actually let's look at the map. See if there's any other places that I think will have a good potential spot. We checked in here, we checked in here, nothing. Um on the ground out here is possible, but it's a little too like in with the uh all the slimes. But maybe we could put a Gordo or two in there who just kind of like maybe they're adventurers or something. I don't know. Okay, let's head over here. Oh, and for those of y'all who don't know what I'm talking about, um I'll eventually put a video together. I really want to. Um it's, uh, like a summary of my um, first narrative Slime Rancher series. Um, it's probably the thing I'm the most proud of that I've put on YouTube. <laughs> so um, I want to uh, kind of put that together so that once we start this narrative, um, right around that time so that y'all can get kind of the back context right before we start doing all this stuff. So. Um, so yeah, if you don't know what that is, just know I made a narrative in Slime Rancher. It was a ton of fun, and I want to do that again because it was a ton of fun. And I love creating things, and I think I've gotten better at storytelling since then, and I would like to flex those muscles, and, and more really just like kind of make cool stuff. Um, <laughs> like I said uh, earlier in previous episodes, you need to be proud of your accomplishments. I'm incredibly proud of that um, video series, and um, I ain't gonna stifle that. <laughs> All right, we have a spot on this neat stone ring. This to me screams magical Merlin wizard in the out in the, like a hermit. Um, spot over there by the teleporter. Spots down by the geysers. So. God, what would be a good slime for an area that's dry, but has some water around it? We should think about that for here. I can't off the top of my head think of that, but I'm sure there's one that y'all go, it's obvious price, it's this one. And I'll go, oh yeah, you're right, that is obvious. <laughs> um, okay, well, I guess we can go up here and see. Whee! And the other thing I'm doing out here, right, is I'm also looking for, whoa, those earthquakes. Those earthquakes. I can't wait until we find out what those are. I think that they're going to have to do with the volcano. Okay. 99% sure there won't be any spots up above here. Let's see one down there, two down there, three down there. Okay. Four over there. So, so it's an okay zone, but you know, we'll, we'll, uh, think of other ones. That's not a bad spot. The other thing that I think about when I'm coming up with these is that I want there to be a good, like, backdrop, right? I want it to look like, okay, cool, this is not only these characters talking, but, like, there's neat stuff uh, in the background um, so that it's, you know, dynamic, right? So I can see, like, the coral over there is really neat. So, like, I could try and get, if I put guys up here, I could try and get, like, a shot like this, and then you get to see all this stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's um, stage setting, it's blocking, it's all that kind of stuff. And then the other thing is we can also use some of those spots for decorations. They don't also, they don't all have to be Gordos. Um, okay. So, I'm going to go back through the portal. I know there's more areas that we could check over here, but I'm going to take a quick break for myself. And for y'all, I'm going to go through this teleporter instantly, and you're not even going to know what happened. Okay, y'all. See, that wasn't so bad. Uh, all right. Um, so we were scouting out spots for Gordos. Let's go see. We've already got a couple of Gordo snares. Um, all right. I want to look at decorations real quick. Uh, cause same deal. We can start planning out stuff for that. I can look around the conservatory and see areas that we want to decorate because I do have a bunch of decorations that I've been given by the characters. Oh, and I think I saw uh, an exclamation point on my way in, but I may be remembering wrong. That happens. Um, okay. Just looking around. Oh, sorry. This way. The roots. Oh, you can see, yeah, we have two of the roots. Um, we have one of these. Oh, I love the tropical trees. What do they cost? Primordial oil, batty plort, silky sand. Those are pretty neat. Um, we've got slime statues, which I think would be cool to put in a couple of spots. Yeah. All right, we got all the lava stuff. You know what? We got a couple of these. What are these ones about? Coastal rock pillars. Not exactly sure what that is. Um, 
Stuff that requires jellystone is not something I necessarily want to make, but it looks like buzzwax or jellystone are kind of core for almost all these. There we go, ash blooms that I could do. And sunfire daisies. Nope, those need buzzwax. All right, let's make some of these ash blooms. Let's make some of these cinder spike blossoms. Um, we can make a magma clump. Okay, what else? What do you cost, buddy? We need a lot of jellystone or primordial oil. Seems like primordial oil, jellystone, buzzwax, these are like core resources is what I'm learning. Um, I don't want to spend my stuff on that. A small boulder, the size of a large boulder. Okay. What do we got? Azure grass. Do, 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 do. Bada do, do, wow. Ooh, glow shrooms. I love the glow shrooms. Uh, well, we know where these are going. We know where those are going. Um, okay, and then Gordo Snares, obviously, we need, if we want more, we're going to need more Jelly Stone and Primordial and Buzzwax. Look at that, the three things that I just used a bunch of. Um, okay, but I've still got two. It's not like that's a problem, and I'm not going to use them today because I want to hear some of y'all's ideas for the areas before I start really putting stuff down. Though, you know, maybe I will start with the, uh, this, um, what did I call it? The Crystal Cave Waterfall. Um, or the crystal, crystal Waterfall Cave. I don't remember what I said. Crystal Cave Waterfall, I think is what I said. Um, oh, I wanted to look out here. We're going to go look out on the ruins out here. And I may try and put some on there. The other thing was I was wanting to put down like a, a cotton um, Largo somewhere on here. So maybe we'll try and put the cotton next to the pink one. Um, they can be buddies, right? Um, so let's actually put down one of the Gordo Snares. Let's go grab one of our um, things over here. Our lettuces. He's got quite a bit because he's the only one eating. <laughs> um, and then let's go do some decorating. So you can go. Oh, you can go there. And okay, let's go into the cave. I already know I want to put some glow shrooms in there. That's that's top tier. Needs to happen. Um, okay. Gosh, all the food that grows now is not really going to be even used. Um, so that's that's something. I guess I'll use it for uh, these uh, fire guys. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it ever, forever ago, but the fire slime did not stay in here. I saw someone on Reddit post a thing about putting a bunch of fire slimes all around in those. Obviously, we now know, and I'm sure that person learned, um, the slimes will disappear from there. You can think of it as a corral protects slimes from um, disappearing. Um, but um, the, these guys, when they are, or the incinerator and the pond do the same thing. But once you put them in there, they're technically in the wild. And the game refreshes things that are in the wild. Uh, okay, where do we want some glow shrooms? Obviously, we want to not put them too much in the way. I want more magma things to put around here, all kinds of fire stuff, but like the dangerous fire stuff. Let's sneak some shrooms in here. Um, blue ones, maybe? Okay. Oh, they're teeny. Okay, little teeny ones. Well, we definitely want it facing so that we can see it. Aw, that's cute. That's a little guy. That's a little guy. We might move that at some point. All right, little rock over here. Why not? Oh, we have a couple of the pink ones. Neat. Okay, uh, actually, I like it being so we can see those. They're facing out. Um, are there any spots in, in the caves? No. Oh, wow, we do have a deep brine on our flippin' ranch. My goodness. Um, never even noticed that before. Okay, I mean, I could put it here. This does look like an appropriate spot, but I could also put, like, a mushroom there or something. How about... Oh, back here's a good one. Back here's a good one. Um, let's put down the other pink shrooms. Oh, and we got that magma pillar. Yeah, let's put the magma pillar down. So maybe in here we should have a boom. I think it would make sense for us to have a boom in here. Um, so maybe he will be they. I'm not gendering him yet. Um, could be right there, like looking over and like almost guarding it. Um, like, these are my children kind of thing. Um, so yeah, we'll go grab a briar hen and we might do that. Because the ones on the ranch or the conservatory, I feel like I can make those decisions and, uh, you know, we can change them as necessary. Um, okay, yeah, this tall magma clump. Let's see that. 
Oh yeah, that's that's perfect for in here. Let's get a couple more things like that. I want huge ones, you know? I want mushrooms that big. <laughs> but oh well, we get what we can get. Okay, and then we have these flowers, these like cinder blooms and stuff. So similar to the rainbow flowers and grass clumps, I want these to be more of like something that you walk through. Um, so let's do some cinder spike blossoms. Nice. And we'll put some, where are the other ones? Ash blooms. Oh wow, those are teeny. Yeah, real teeny ones. Okay, let's swap those. Um, allow me to place it anywhere. I love that you can swap these around, so we can always make changes. So the little ones, the ash blooms, those are the closest thing to like the grass clumps. You just walk right through it. Um, so we'll put the little flowers over here. Or, I guess they're- they say cinder spike blossoms, they also look like mushrooms. It's an interesting combo. They're almost like little trees. Um, okay, and then what else do we have for in here? We've got these shrubs for the amber, but I think those actually make more sense here, right? Because this is kind of more like that part of the Ember Island. This is like the dark caves, here's the ruins, and this is sort of like the beaches of each one. Um, so, I think we're good in here. Um, let me go grab a briar hen from the um, uh, our chicken apocalypse place because I have a feeling that they're still there. Um, <laughs> also, I just noticed today my graphic settings were on medium, so now they're on high. I'm shocked that they were on medium, um, but now they're back to high. I don't know if maybe that happened, whoa, when I had to re fix my computer but oh hello oh my gosh they are getting out of hand y'all are getting out of hand you need to stop you need to stop <laughs> all right i need to put one of these in each one they're not even gonna make a dent but at least they're kind of helping to balance it a little bit is he bouncing on you know what Let's take that as our screenshot for the day. I think that's hilarious. I'm gonna get you like that. I'm gonna do a couple of them. I think when y'all set, let me check the keys. Can I set a key for screenshot? Yeah, you can! Thank you so much. Um, so we are going to put that on, we'll say P. Oh, um, P? P? How do I do that? Screenshot, change the bindings for controls and mouse controls. Okay, X. P. It won't let me change it. I. I. I don't. I don't know why it's not letting me change it because it only says reset to defaults and apply, but I can't seem to change it as far as I can tell. Well, y'all, let me know down below. I'll still be doing screenshots like this for at least a little while. Um, gosh, the chickens. Oh, the chickens. Um, but yeah, let me know what I'm what I'm missing there. I'm, it's definitely user error. Um, Okay, there's so many of them. Um, let's keep it going. And there's all the little chickadoos. That's where the problem comes in. Okay, so... Let's go put down this boom guy. I think that'll be pretty neat. Um, and we'll go into the, um... The Starlight Strand and kind of look around spots. Oh, we'll go check out the ruins first. And then we'll go into Starlight Strand. Again, just kind of checking out locations, you know? Um, and we will, from there, um... That'll probably be all we can get through today, to be honest. But, um, I think it'll be worth it in the end. Maybe we'll put him here. Alright, he's not, like, fully, like, blocking you out, you know? Um, okay. Novice Gordo Snare. And we throw a Briar on there, because that is the fave of the Boom Slime. Um, okay. Alright, I guess I should grab your Fire Plorts. Those are necessary for making fire things. Um, I should get more Fire Slimes. I just always forget. But, um, but yeah. Okay, so we got that guy. We're going to, well, we'll see if we get that guy. Um, we will head out into the wild. And, um, you know, maybe we'll wait to check the ruins. I'd rather just go straight out to the Starlight Strand. We'll do a big look around there. And then, um, you know, later, if we have time, we'll go back to the ruins. Otherwise, we'll check the ruins next time. Because clearly, if there are spots on the ruins, we are definitely using them. It's too good of a spot. It's too good of a spot, y'all. So, I also hope that y'all are okay with me just, like, breaking the fourth wall here and talking about- oh, yeah. Um, 
talking about making the series, you know, sometimes that might be like, oh no, you're spoiling it or whatever. I kind of think of it like, a, again, pre-production. We're talking about we're making a movie. Okay, Mochi. Hello, Beatrix. Guess who's the luckiest person in the galaxy? Oh, okay, it's another gift. All right, sorry I'm not reading it. Um, like I said, my voice, because I already did that other video today, my voice is on its uh, on its edge for today. So we're gonna, we're gonna uh, lay off on the voices today. Don't worry, I'll tell her. You quiet now, I'm talking to her. Hobson wanted to give you this. Hey, cool. So this makes me think that we've gotten everything from them because, you know, they just are giving us gifts right now, which is great because we could definitely use them. Um, or, or we are using them. Like, did I just... Do I have that lob thing now or did she just give me the recipe? She must have just given me the recipe. Okay. Well, cool. It was a neat recipe. And then we just got that, I think, from Thora. Okay. Even better. We got the recipe. So ooh, let's head out to the Amber Island. Right? This is the right one, right? I think so. Whee! Or not the Amber Island. The other one. The Starlight Strand. Okay. So good, lots of cool places here, to be honest. This one's got a lot of opportunity, I think. First and foremost, both of them have these beach areas. Um, I think the best beach area in the game is out here. I think we looked at it, though, and I don't know if it had too many tech spots, but if it is um, available, that'd be great. Let's check the island. The island is another great location. Um, you like how I'm talking about it? Like, locations. We're going on location. Um... That's how seriously I take this. This is a film. Okay, yeah, there's spots. Okay. So, we can easily have some slimes that are looking out upon there or what have you. And we could also decorate it. I mean, we could put stuff like they're hiding, like put stuff in the way. Um, yeah, we got some deeper spots back here, this little pool. Again, a lot of this could be decoration, doesn't have to be Gordo's, but this spot's got a lot of great spots. It's got a lot of great spots. Probably gonna have to deal with a lot of slimes getting in the way. Um, that's the other thing about picking the right locations is I feel like you want to pick ones that don't have a lot of slimes, but, um, I'll, uh, I'll figure that one out when I get to it. You know, I might have to launch all the slimes off into the sea before filming. Um, okay, so that's a great spot. Like I said, part of this I'm, I'm doing for myself so I can see all these spots, and part of it is me showing them to y'all so y'all can come up with creative ideas. Because um, that's going to give us the best, the best chance of a great series. Alright, no one up here. Good to know. It's just as important to see where there aren't um, spots as to where there are. Okay, yeah, lots of good, lots of good areas around here. Um, let's keep it going forward. Another cool area might be the mushroom area. Things get real choppy around these now, probably because of the high graphics. Um, okay, we got a bunch around this portal. Um, those could be four other portals, though. You know, it would make sense to, like, pop out here and be like, okay, I can go to that part, or that part, or that part. Um, or maybe not. We can also just keep all those on our ranch. Okay, spot there. Couple them out here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here we have the two sides right here, and there's like two across the way. We could totally have like two characters on opposite sides that like bicker all the time because they're on like different sides, but maybe they say the same thing, but backwards. Like one of them's like, oh, I think that we need more buzzwax in order to get um, things for our group or whatever like that. And the other one would be like, no, 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 no. Our group needs... Uh, important things like buzzwax, you know, things like that, like where they're just not listening to each other or something close to that. Um, okay, could be fun, could be fun. I'm just, I'm just spitballing ideas as we go by, y'all. Okay, this place could be connected to the ruins somehow. There's a nice small area there. This is a great Council of Gordo's spot, to be honest. Like, look at all these guys in a ring, you know, you have this thing in the center. It'd be awesome if there was a, a tech spot there. But, like, you get what I mean? Like, there's a lot of spots around here for, like, some regal slimes. Or, like I said, this could be related to the ruins, depending on what we decide to do for the ruins. Okay, spots along here. These are more for decorations, I think. I don't think we turn those into Gordo's. Where are we going? Okay. See what it's like out here. Okay... There's some spots I could see. There's some spots I could see. But not like... Again, this, this is gonna be like not top tier. It's just kind of in the middle. Um, there's not a spot up here, is there? No. Okay. A lot of the high up spots where I would like them to be are uh, sadly 
Not usable. Couple in front of there. This is going to be one of the hardest spots, to be honest. So we'll have to see <laughs> about that. But basically what I might have to do is like just unleash the, uh, the TARS um, in order to uh, clear these zones quickly. Right? The TARS are going right now. And they're going to do the job that I want them to do. Come on! Oh, come on, you can get up there. You can get up there. No, you can't. Okay, rude. Do, do, do. It was so close. It was so close. Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. I'm leaving you be. You leave me. Do, 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 do. Okay. Here, I think, might be in a, uh, might end up being a good spot. I have already taken a couple of the spots. Um, again, real difficult. But I guess... Hey, I don't have something for you, but good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's just, you know, we like seeing you. I got you, I got you as a pillow, but, uh, you know, it's all good. Oh, gosh! Are you going to mix with the lucky slime? That'd be neat. Lucky hunter. Okay, give me this. I know that there's mean slimes around. I know that all kinds of nonsense is happening. Get this guy out of here. Um, okay. All right, up here could do something. Oh, boy. Honestly, this could be like water cannons. Maybe we put a Gordo next to a water cannon and it's like they're manning it, right? They're the they're the defender. I like that idea. I like that idea. We could do that in a lot of spots. We could have a Gordo next to a thing. A Gordo next to a refinery. Or a Gordo next to a portal or something, right? And so like they almost have like jobs. Oh, I like that. I like that. Getting ideas, y'all. Getting ideas. Here's the other thing. Talking through this stuff. I talked about this in a previous um, episode. That um, talking through things can help you move them forward. If you're having a uh, like a um, like a writer's block type thing, you can't figure something out. Say it out loud to yourself. Start talking through it. Talk about where you're at. Talk about what you need to fix. Um, and then you know, a lot of people say change the scenery, get up and walk around, and all that kind of stuff. It's true. It's true. Taking a sip of my drink. Hold on. If you go out for um, a walk or something like that afterwards. Let me tell you, it suddenly starts to give you some new ideas because you're changing things up. You know, maybe listen to music while you're doing it. You're getting fresh air, but you're also like seeing trees and, and all kinds of stuff. You're experiencing a, a different set of scenery. And with that, um, it does help you think of different things. Um, I think in the past I talked about state dependent memory, where the state that you're currently in and your surroundings influence kind of how you think. Um, and so this is another one of those situations. Real quick, this spot is great. All right, there's a tiered system here so I can see all three of them at once. Um, this is good. This is good. Um, so think about this spot. I really like this spot. Okay. The tars are on the loose. Okay, there's only one down there, so I think down in this area. Not so much going to be a thing that we do. I don't think there are any up here, if I recall. Yeah, there's none up here, which is too bad. But this part can be something. You know, that could be something that we deal with. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Grab some more stuff. Um, okay. Anything else around? All right. Yeah. I've said it a million times, but I really like the idea of us coming up with these things together. Um, and even if the episode has already aired and we've already come up with ideas for a place, don't feel bad or, or think you can't still suggest things for that area. Because again, like I said before, things can change. Maybe throughout the quote unquote season of the series that we end up doing, we can um, change things up, you know, for storyline reasons. Um, so, still give me your ideas. Still give me your awesome ideas. Um, oh, there is a nectar up there, so I want to grab that so we can put a flutter on the ranch. Um, even though we're not going to be able to afford a, another Gordo snare today, um, I do want to get one of every Gordo on the ranch, and I have learned it can be done. It can be done. Um, I have yet to find a higher quality, um... Uh, Gordo snare, so I'm starting to think that they aren't in the game yet, or I somehow missed them. There is a glitch that someone spoke about in my comments that may be the case. I'm not positive, because upgrades could just not be in the game yet. But someone said that if you get the treasure pods kind of out of order, or basically before you buy an upgrade, if you get both, it kind of uh, glitches 
and can only, and, and you basically don't get counted for one. It only counts for, um, do, 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 give me that. Uh, it only counts one of them, right? So you can't like have a couple of those. That's what the, the um, comment said. I can neither confirm nor deny that. Um, so uh, that's that. Um, it's so bonkers to me that we hadn't gotten this one already when we uh, came back here. Like, what did I even do after I popped the this thing? Or I guess, no, this is actually just back here all the time, so I just didn't come back here. That's right. Okay. Eh, might as well take two. Um, okay. Looking for more spots. There could be good ones around here, like by the ring tail. I think the ring... Oh, that's right, it's there fluttering. I always, when I hear that flutter, I always think it's a gold slime or a lucky slime. Okay, we got the portal. We've got the other portal. Um, we've got one spot here or two. So this could be a spot where it's like someone who knows about the portals or who has some insight or something like that. Whoa. Okay. So now. Okay, another spot. Um, like these ones could maybe have something where they're like, you need to take a leap of faith. And then you jump down there and you meet someone else down there who's important. That could be neat. Um, I'm just throwing out ideas, y'all. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't. Uh, one spot there, one spot over here. So yeah, these could be like people who maybe want to challenge you or help you grow to some next level. Because I do think like having there be some kind of progression of, all right, we're trying, trying to do things for these different characters. Um, and then maybe that helps us unlock something important. Um, okay. As far as the story is concerned. Yeah, this whole area over here feels like another, almost like a faction area where we can have, you know, different, um, slimes all throughout here that, um, are part of the same faction and again have different goals and wants for us. Um, I really like the idea of doing like faction type stuff. Um, boop, boop, boop. I'm just grabbing all this nectar because the more nectar I have, the more likely it will be for me to get a flutter because um, I think there's a low chance. If it's like the first game, there's a low chance because it's a higher tier slime and the, the novice snares have a high chance of pulling a pink Gordo, I believe. Um, that's how it was kind of in the first game or pulling like a low, quote, well, a low tier, quote unquote, um, slime because... Um, because they're not really lower tier, it's just you find them earlier, right? They're still just as important and valuable, like they still have the same um, use cases um, in terms of like, you know, being used for science and everything. The other ones, when you, when you say top tier or high tier, that's just saying like the plorts that are worth the most, but like you can go straight to getting a honey almost immediately and that's a money maker. Um, okay, there's our refinery. Couple spots over there, so another potential faction spot. Ooh! Ooh, here's a good spot. Three of them real close together. That could be like a Warriors 3 situation or something. Oh wow, that was neat! Dropping plorts in midair. That was cool. Um, it's raining plorts. So yeah, up here, the tree obviously needs to have at least one um, Gordo. Maybe a Flutter, and that would make sense for a Flutter to be here. Uh, to be here. Maybe a Flutter who knows things who knows the truth or can help guide us on our way. Um, oh, that waterfall. That's right, we went up there before. We saw all the spots. I may have even mentioned it last time that it should be a Gordo spot. Those flowers glow. Okay. That's neat. I think a flutter would make sense if they're surrounded by these like flowers and things, maybe. But. This spot, obviously, and incredible. We can get rid of this rock if we want to, to have them look down there. We got these three spots up here and then one up here so we could have them, like, coordinating something below. Um, yeah. Now, this side doesn't split, huh? So, like I said, we could have factions along these lines um, of, like, a blue faction and a red faction. Or, like, a couple of factions within could be nice. Or individuals or whatever. Um... I'm going to take this spot down here. I just, I'm realizing I should use some of my <laughs> um, decorations. I think the roots are a good one to keep out here in the wild because um, I don't have the tree over on my ranch. So it doesn't make sense, um, in my opinion, to put roots there because... Oh, well, actually, there is the big tree. Hold on, Price. There's the big tree in the center of your home. 
I didn't think about that because I was only thinking about this big tree, but they're actually similar. Now that I think about it, we should look at the tree when we get home. They're similar in structure. Could it be that the one on our ranch is a part of the same thing? Is there a big tree out here? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. But that's an interesting idea. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. But look, here's the little green splotch. Here's the red and blue. This one's a little bit bigger, but perhaps this tree is what's creating this greenness of our rainbow island. The beaches seem to all be the same, so they kind of connect the zones. Um, these areas are split. It's interesting. It's interesting. And I guess like the volcano kind of takes that role here, right? And they kind of spread forward. If you think about it, these guys kind of spread forward that way. This guy kind of spreads forward that way. And oh, <laughs> my cursor. Um, <clears throat> so this one kind of spreads that way. <laughs> this one kind of spreads that way. And this one kind of spreads that way is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Um, okay, good to know. I, I, I will try to remember to turn my cursor on next time. I just fully forgot about it after the big reinstall. Um, a lot of things changed, right? And it's hard to know exactly what changes until you experience it because there's just so many things. Had to reinstall all my programs, rebuild all my presets. So that's why some things have changed. So if the videos are different, if you notice that the videos are different in some way, volume wise or quality wise or whatever, let me know. Um, because I can make changes and it's hard for me to tell, um, because I hear my own voice so often. Um, okay. I think we're in, we've, we've seen some good spots. Where else would we like to look? Let's go out and check out this spot. Like I had said, that's probably the best water location, beach location in the game, in my opinion. Um, there are other water spots that are great, like the, the waterfalls and things, but in terms of like the uh, beach areas, I think that's the best one. Okay, we're gonna go over this way. Do do. Do 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 do. Oh man, y'all, I'm having fun. I'm having fun with Slime Rancher. Making that beginner's video was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun because I had to flex my teaching muscles. I had to stop and think about things while I was looking at them. But for me, it actually helped me focus even better um, because talking things through and teaching is a big way that I learn and that I can like focus and concentrate. Um, I think just, I love teaching so much and I sort of have a, a knack for it, I think. Um, you know, I had good, um, uh, good interactions and good scores and whatnot from my, um, my students. The uh, issues that uh, people brought up with my class were things that were outside of my control. So like curriculum stuff that I didn't get to control or, um, uh, projects that they had to do, which again, I didn't get to control. I only got to lecture. So my lectures were appreciated and I, um, appreciate that. So I'm very confident in my teaching and I think that it kind of puts me back in a zone that I'm, I'm very comfortable with. Um, okay. So going over here, I mean, y'all probably know it from watching this. It's not like I'm not doing it constantly on here. I love these ones, the hunter anglers, and those are carnivores. We could do those. Okay. We got one there. We got one there. We got one here. So these two next to each other is good. Two over here is good. Near the water. Okay. I like, I like. Oh, I love these. I want a recipe for those. Or I guess schematic is probably the right word. I use recipe because Minecraft, but I guess technically they're schematics because they are kind of blueprints for a construction, not uh, a recipe for a dessert. Um, okay, let's go. Although some of them do sound like they would be tasty. <laughs> um, some of the, uh, some of the decorations sound delicious. Uh, okay. Do, do, do. Oh, didn't have energy. That was the one of the things that I told people in my, uh, beginner's video. I was like, don't let your energy run out when you're about to jump over a cliff. <laughs> I've learned from experience. Okay. Do, 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 Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoy the teaching part and I really enjoy being able to, um, 
talk about stuff in, a, in an educational way. Okay, I'm now going to head back. Um, we can kind of look at a couple of areas uh, over here in the um, Rainbow Island. I think around every teleporter is a good potential spot for a um, Gordo. Oh my gosh, I had an idea. Let me know if you like this. At every teleporter, it could be the same Gordo. And it's just like, oh yeah, I'm here. Oh yeah, I'm here. Oh yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I think that would be a really funny idea. Um, we'll see about that. I would love it if there were a quantum Gordo in this right now. If you watched um, my previous series, um, I had a quantum Gordo who was sort of my main kind of science-y Gordo. And he talked about, you know, um, like all the scientific stuff. And I think with a quantum Gordo having kind of quantum displacement or whatever it's called, um, that can, um, it sort of goes hand in hand. So that would make sense, them kind of just popping up, popping up, popping up. Um, but any of them could do that, right? A fast slime, a sneaky slime, whatever. Um, anyway, just an idea. Man, I just pop out the ideas uh, as we're going along, giving away all the stuff, but honestly, it doesn't matter to me. Um, oh, that's neat. We can get all the way up there. That's cool. Good old bounce. Um, Okay, well, I'm gonna go turn in these resources. I don't have another Gordo snare. Have they come in? They have not. So what I'll do is I will go to sleep um, because usually they pop up in the morning. So we can do that. And then next time I'll make another Gordo snare unless I'm allowed to right now. Allowed to. <laughs> um, hello? I mean, hello? So yeah, these I might not be able to get because of, like I said, that um, that potential glitch, quote unquote, um, I can't guarantee that that's actually a problem. It's only been told to me. Um, so, let's see. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Gordo snare, can we make another one? No, primordial and jellystone. I knew I had the buzzwax, but not the other two. Um, okay, let's put these in here. So we will get more, and I know exactly where I want to put the butterfly. Um, I will show y'all as we head out here and go to sleep. I want, for now at least, the Flutter Slime up here. Right here. It's a great spot, I think. And to have a Gordo up here looking over everything, I think that'd be great. Look at the tree. Same kind of tree. I think this is an important thing. Not positive, but I think it's an important thing. Perhaps, <gasps> perhaps a thought. What if they're all connected? And it's sort of like a world tree situation, an Yggdrasil from Norse mythology, where, like, they all connect underneath to some greater tree that is sort of, like, holding up everything of the world. Um, and so maybe this whole splitting of the Starlight Strand is like a splitting of the world tree, maybe. We, did, we haven't seen a tree over here, but there are, like, ash trees and stuff. So maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something over here that like could be like there's the there's the ruins down here or the ruins over here those could speak to something i don't know anyway i i, I want to say and i want to believe that these are all connected um okay let's go to bed we'll wake up and we'll see um oh that's so cute sleep until morning okay Ooh, that was a long one our slime should be fine except for those guys because they eat all their food all the time do, 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 do. I say those guys. The one dude. The one dude who just eats everything. Okay. Gordos. Yeah, we got a bunny. Yeah. Cool. Cool. These are just friends over here. These ones, they're just friends. Yeah. Okay. So, one thing I'm going to have to do, but luckily I think Slime Rancher 2 is a much higher resolution, or at least clearer on the things, is I'm going to try and film everything from, like, where you can't see my... Um, reticle, um, which is hard to do. And I can make them talk, like, watch. Um. Oh, hey, Beatrix. How's it going? <laughs> um, but that'll be a little tricky, the puppeting, if I actually do that. But at least, you know, trying to get shots like this, and then I can crop it in, and then hopefully you don't see the reticle, or just don't see too much, um, so that we can just focus on them. Hopefully that'll work. If it's low res, then we might just keep a little bit of the backpack in, and you'll just have to use your imagination. Or, oh, I could do, like, cinema bars. Maybe I'll do that, like widescreen bars. Um, we'll see. There's thoughts. Okay, we got you, so let's go look for the boom. 
That'd be neat. And if not, we'll pop it, and then we'll we'll make another uh, opportunity, another uh, chance. Cute. Hey, we got the boom. Wonderful. Wonderful. We got this guy hanging out with the little fires. I think that's great. Um, cool. So we're on our way, getting Gordos at home. And then, yeah, we're going to put Gordos out in the wild. We're going to make Council of Gordos type stuff. Um, we're going to make it happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm down, I'm done, down, done, down to be done for this episode. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think I, I really liked doing what we did today. Next episode, I think, is when we're going to try and get our next Largos in, because hopefully you all would have given me enough suggestions down below that I can actually start just making those choices. Um, I either need to make a silo or I don't know what, but this food situation needs to be dealt with. And we will probably redo all of the um, farm plots as well, because whatever new slimes we bring in will probably have different favorite foods. Um, we might even want to deliberately try and do that. But anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, of course, leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment down below. That would be wonderful because comments tell YouTube that uh, you're engaged and you like what I'm doing. And that tells YouTube that you wanna that uh, other people should see my videos as well. So sometimes we like to, um, ha or every time, I like to uh, give you all like a kind of a secret comment, a comment of the day um, that uh, y'all can use if you can't think of something else to type down below. So... Let's say, um, let's say the Gordos cometh. So that's the Gordos, C-O-M-E-T-H, <laughs> the Gordos cometh. Um, uh, so yeah, and then also if you could go watch another one of my videos, that would be amazing because that also tells YouTube that you like what I'm doing. And because I make longer videos, that works really well in the algorithm. So y'all watching those will be like, hey, other people watching Slime Rancher who is like watching a 20 minute video, you should come over here and watch this hour long video, right? I know that's not for some people, but it is for some of y'all as well. <laughs> All right, y'all. So with that, uh, the most important thing is that I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I have been Price, and I will see y'all next time.